Okay, here's a little story about chiropractic that you might not know about. A really, really long time ago in Davenport, Iowa, like over a hundred years ago, I mean, we're talking like September 18th, 1895 ago, there was this guy named Daniel David Palmer, but all his friends called him Dee Dee for short. Anyway, Dee Dee is the founder of this thing that we now know as chiropractic. Yeah, it's a pretty cool story actually. The way Dee Dee discovered chiropractic was like this. There was this guy that worked in the building that Dr. Palmer worked in. He was like the maintenance guy there, and his name was Harvey, Harvey Lillard to be exact. And the thing about Harvey was that he couldn't hear out of his right ear. Yeah, the guy had been deaf in his right ear for like 17 years. That's a really long time to be deaf. Anyway, Harvey told Dr. Palmer that 17 years prior, he was working and stooped over to pick up a bucket when he heard a loud pop in his neck, and shortly afterwards, he lost his hearing. So, Dee Dee, being a very well-educated man and all, started putting two and two together. And he thought to himself, hmm, if Harvey heard a loud pop in his neck right before he lost his hearing, maybe that loud pop in his neck was a spinal bone popping out of place. And if the bone is out of place, it could be interfering with his auditory nerve. That's a nerve that goes to your ear, by the way. And that could be what's causing Harvey's hearing loss. So, Dee Dee asked Harvey if he could feel around his neck. And Harvey said, yeah, sure, do whatever you need to. So Dee Dee started feeling around Harvey's neck and ended up finding a very prominent lump in his neck muscles, and he could feel it was hard, like a bone. When he pushed on it, Harvey was like, hey, man, that's sore. That's when Dee Dee told Harvey his theory, you know, that he thought that Harvey might have a bone out of place in his neck that might be interfering with the nerves that go to his ears, causing his deafness. And since nerves control everything, including how we touch, taste, smell, see, and hear, that interference might be causing Harvey's hearing problem. Harvey was like, hmm, makes sense to me. So Dee Dee asked Harvey, can I push on the lump in your neck and try to fix it? At first, Harvey was kind of scared because it was already kind of sore just from Dee Dee barely touching it. But after about 30 minutes of Dee Dee trying to persuade Harvey that it might get him his hearing back, Harvey finally agreed to let Dee Dee push on the lump. Now get this, Harvey laid down on a bench and Dee Dee stood above him and put his hands directly on the lump on Harvey's neck. And with one swift movement, Dee Dee pushed down on the lump in Harvey's neck and they both heard a loud pop, just like the one that Harvey heard when he first lost his hearing. Within minutes, Harvey heard something that he hadn't heard out of his right ear in over 17 years, the sound of horse's hooves clap clap clapping in the street. Remember, this was 1895. Harvey could hear again. Word spread fast, and before you knew it, people were talking about what happened over at Dr. Palmer's office, and all sorts of people were flocking there to see if Dr. Palmer could push on their spines and make them better too. This new treatment of health problems needed a name, so after much consideration, Dee Dee called it chiropractic, which in Greek means done by hand. The amount of people that were demanding chiropractic adjustments was so overwhelming that Dr. Palmer had to start a chiropractic school so he could teach other people how to adjust the spine. He called this school the Palmer School of Chiropractic, but now it's known as Palmer College of Chiropractic. So as you can imagine, chiropractic started getting all sorts of media attention. Chiropractic was helping sick people get well and preventing the well from getting sick. So much so that medical doctors were losing patients by the droves. And as a result, they were losing money. And as you know, anytime losing money's involved, someone's gonna get upset. Well, the AMA, American Medical Association, didn't like that they were losing so much business because in their model of healthcare, they only get paid if people are sick, not if they're well. So starting in the 1960s, the AMA launched a propaganda campaign aimed at discrediting and defaming chiropractic in order to destroy it. They were putting out all sorts of literature, telling people all sorts of lies, things like chiropractors aren't real doctors, chiropractors can hurt you, chiropractors make you come forever, chiropractic is expensive, chiropractic is not scientific, chiropractors are quacks, chiropractic can cause strokes, chiropractic can harm your spine, chiropractic is a cult. This went on for over 25 years until finally, finally, the Supreme Court stepped in and said, enough is enough. This guy named Dr. Chester Wilk and four other chiropractors filed an antitrust lawsuit against the AMA and said that the AMA conspired to defame and destroy chiropractic by spreading lies about chiropractic for over 25 years. Well, guess what? The Supreme Court found the AMA guilty as charged, but unfortunately, 25 years of spreading lies about chiropractic did its damage. People had become so skeptical of chiropractic despite the fact that since 1895, chiropractic has helped hundreds of millions of people get well and stay well. It's kind of funny how things come full circle though. Now, medical doctors are moving towards wellness and trying to take credit for something chiropractic has been preaching and teaching for over a hundred years. Now that's just not right. Don't you hate it when someone tries to take credit for all your hard work? Chiropractors have been leading the charge on wellness for over 100 years, so let's give credit where credit is due. Now, in case you were wondering, here's the skinny on chiropractic and why it works. 
Your brain and nervous system control everything in your body. Everything. They control your muscle movements, your heart rate, your kidneys, your pancreas, your immune system, your lungs, your ability to taste, touch, smell, see, and hear. They control everything. If your nerves don't work right, you don't work right. It's as simple as that. You see, your brain sends messages down your spinal cord and out your nerves to all your body parts. It's kind of like the way a power plant sends electricity over a series of electrical lines to your home. As long as the power gets there, the lights in your home will turn on. But if something interferes with the power plant's ability to get the power there, for example, let's say a big tree falls down on the electrical lines, then there's no way the lights in your home can turn on. So with that being said, when your spine comes out of alignment due to physical, chemical, and emotional stress, and everybody has at least one of those stresses, and the hard bones in your spine put pressure up against the nerves in your body, it's a lot like what the tree does to the electrical lines running from the power plant to your home. The hard bones that are out of place rubbing up against your nervous system interfere with your brain's ability to supply power to the rest of your body. And that can result in pain, sickness, and dis-ease. These misaligned spinal bones that put pressure on your nerves, well, they do have a name. They're called subluxations. It kind of sounds like subway station, but it's subluxation. S-U-B-L-U-X-A-T-I-O-N. They are silent, they are ruthless, and they are serious. You don't want to go through life with subluxations in your spine. They're bad for your health, period. But what's even worse is that in most cases, you can't feel subluxations, just like you can't feel high cholesterol or high blood pressure. So many people that have subluxations don't even know they have them until they get examined by a chiropractor. Most people that initially go to a chiropractor go because they have symptoms like headaches, back pain, neck pain, numbness and tingling, digestive problems, fatigue, insomnia, irritability, colds and flus, just to name a few. And these can all be signs of subluxation, but the worst symptom of all is no symptom at all. And in the meantime, these subluxations are silently robbing you and your family from a long life of health and vitality. Yeah, that's right, I said your family, because your kids aren't immune to subluxations either. The average toddler falls down 38 times per day just learning how to walk. Ouch! Plus, there's a tremendous amount of stress that's placed on the baby's neck during the birth process when the doctor's twisting and pulling on the neck trying to get the baby out. Now that alone can cause subluxations, not to mention all the other slips, falls, bumps, and bruises that can happen to your kids. So what kind of symptoms might kids end up with because of subluxations? Things like earaches, asthma, frequent colds and flus during the winter months, allergies, colic, acid reflux, headaches, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. But like I said, most people don't even know they have subluxations. So if you do end up with symptoms, consider yourself lucky. Most people never know until they've had them for a really, really long time. And by then, it can be too late to get them corrected. Because subluxations are destructive and can cause your spine to literally rot from the inside out. Gross. Ever seen that old guy at the mall all hunched over in his wheelchair or walking with his cane? Yep, his spine is in bad shape. Probably a lifetime of uncorrected spinal subluxations. And his health isn't none too good either. And chances are he's probably taking lots of medications just to get through the day a walking pharmaceutical company. You don't want that, do you? Me neither. Look, people can go their entire childhood and part of their adulthood never knowing they have subluxations and then all of a sudden one day, BAM! They start feeling like they're falling apart and they usually blame it on old age. You'll usually hear these people saying things like, man, it really stinks getting old. Now, women on the other hand will sometimes start developing a small hump on their back in their mid to late 30s. And as they get older, the hump gets bigger and bigger and bigger until eventually they look like little old ladies running around. It's not very attractive and it's a really big concern for a lot of women. No woman wants to look old before her time. Well, guess what? This is not due to old age. It's due to subluxations. Here's the bottom line. Chiropractic is a wonderful way for you and your family to get well and stay well. Chiropractors are the only healthcare professionals in the world that are trained to detect and correct subluxations. Chiropractors spend between three to four years learning about the human body, how it works, and how to take care of it. They learn all sorts of things about the human body. They learn anatomy and embryology, physiology, pathology, chemistry and biology, microbiology, diagnosis, neurology, psychology and psychiatry, obstetrics and gynecology, yes, obstetrics and gynecology, x-ray, and orthopedics. A chiropractor learns the exact same curriculum as a medical doctor. Only chiropractors put in 2,419 classroom hours versus medical doctors who only spend 2,047 hours in the classroom. In other words, your chiropractor is highly qualified. The big difference is that medical doctors eventually learn pharmacology, how to prescribe drugs, 
whereas the chiropractor learns how to adjust the spine and bring your body back into balance and alignment to promote good nervous system health and reestablish that mind-body connection naturally. So here's something else for you to think about. If drugs really made a person healthy, then wouldn't the person taking the most drugs have the most health? It's quite the opposite though, isn't it? Look, we're not saying that drugs aren't needed in some cases because they are. But let's face it, drugs do not make you healthy. As a matter of fact, in most cases, with all the side effects they cause, they can often make your situation worse. Did you know that medical intervention is responsible for over 700,000 deaths annually? 700,000 deaths! That's crazy! That's like 9-11 happening 233 times! But that's no surprise. Have you listened to the drug commercials lately? It now takes more time to list the side effects of the drug than it does to tell you what the drug's actually good for. This magic pill will help lower your cholesterol, but it causes nausea, stomach ulcers, type 2 diabetes, uncontrollable bowel movements, and death. Say, what? Death? Are you kidding me? Look, drugs are dangerous, and this is why chiropractic has been teaching people for over 100 years how to take better care of themselves through exercise, good nutrition, positive attitude, drinking plenty of water, proper stretching, and last but certainly not least, how to take care of their spine and nerve system through chiropractic care. Chiropractic is a lifestyle choice, just like exercise and nutrition. You don't exercise one day and expect to be healthy for the rest of your life. You don't eat good nutritious food one day and expect to be healthy for the rest of your life. It's an ongoing process and something you should do regularly if you want to get the maximum benefits from it. Getting a chiropractic adjustment isn't something you do one time and expect your body to be balanced and well for the rest of your life. Chances are, your body has years and years and years of wear and tear on it, and that isn't something that can be fixed in one visit. That doesn't even make sense to think that it could be done in one visit. Remember, health does not come from a bottle of pills. Health comes from only one source. Health comes from within, and your chiropractor will help you decide what frequency of care is best for you based on your lifestyle and your health care goals. How long you decide to benefit from all the amazing health advantages chiropractic has to offer is ultimately up to you. But we and millions of other people across the globe that use chiropractic on a regular basis believe it's something you and your family should do regularly. Why? Because you deserve a long, healthy life full of energy and vitality. In the meantime, love and wisdom to you.